Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making a lava lamp. We are going to make it glow using a black light and quinine water, but if you don't have these things, don't worry, you can just make a normal lava lamp. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hovering over the watermark in the bottom right hand corner and clicking subscribe. And don't forget to like our Facebook page so that you don't miss any of our science experiment videos. Now let's get right into it. For this experiment, you will need a glass jar filled with oil, an alkyl seltzer. Those are the necessary materials. If you want to make it glow in the dark, you need a black light and a tonic water that has quinine. I will link the materials I bought in the description box. The first thing you need to do is put your water or quinine water into the oil uh, jar. Um, if you just have water, you can also add food coloring. If you have quinine water, don't. And so the next thing we're going to do is find a room with no windows that's absolutely dark. And then we're going to turn on the black light. You can see that on the left I have just water and on the right I have quinine water. So you can see the difference between the two. Now this is where the fun comes in. Drop the Alka-Seltzer into the jar and you can see a lava light lamp like effect. It's super cool and it, you can watch it all day. You can just keep adding Alka-Seltzer to continue the reaction. If you would like to just do a normal lava lamp, it'll also be have a similar effect. One of our power learners made a lava lamp experiment video for our competition and they won. Um, if you want to watch that video, it's going to be in the upper hand right corner. Right now you can click the card and the link is also in the description box. So now let's talk about how this experiment works. Let's first talk about how quinine water glows when exposed to UV light. So the reason for this is that quinine has a compound called phosphors in it. And phosphors are able to absorb UV light and emit it again as this greenish blue color. So that's what's happening in this situation. The phosphors in the quinine water are absorbing the UV light from the black light and then emitting light in this color that we see. Now, how does the lava lamp-like effect occur? Well, the reason why the water sinks to the bottom when you add it to the oil is because it is more dense than oil. And they don't mix because they both are what scientists call immiscible liquids, which means that they don't mix together. The reason for this is that um, water is what you call a polar substance and oil is what you call a non-polar substance. So because they're not the same, they don't mix. When you add Alka-Seltzer to the jar, it reacts with the water to create carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide sticks to the water and rises to the top of the jar. There, the, the carbon dioxide bubbles pop and it returns back to the bottom of the jar. And it keeps doing that over and over again until the Alka-Seltzer and water reaction stops. So then when you add more Alka-Seltzer, it keeps going on. A similar process occurs in one of our previous videos called Dancing Raisins. Check that video by clicking the card at the upper right hand corner and it's also going to be in the description box. So that concludes today's experiment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page and I'll see you in the next video.